Comedy, using computer vision to support awareness and privacy in media spaces. Media spaces, such as Cave Cat, Cruise, Montage, or the 9X Porthole, are intended to facilitate informal communication and group awareness while assuring privacy protection. However, low bandwidth communication is a source of discontinuities in the communication process, resulting in a loss of peripheral awareness. Privacy, as in RAVE, is often implemented as an accessibility matrix, coupled to an all-or-nothing exposure of personal state. In addition, current technical solutions have no provision for configuring the user interface in relation to the availability of resources. Comedy is a media space prototype that addresses the problems of visual discontinuity, privacy, and resource configuration using a combination of computer vision and speech. Before showing these three original contributions of Comedy, we first present the overall design solution. The driving design requirement for Comedy has been supporting awareness. A fisheye porthole and an events log are the primary means of addressing awareness. Let's see them in action. By glancing at the screen without any extra action, I can observe that six persons are currently present in my porthole, that all of them are available, the dot in their slot is green, except Joelle in the bottom left corner, whose dot switches from red, do not disturb, color to a yellow, busy color, and that meanwhile someone has entered Francois's office in the bottom right slot. At the bottom of the screen, the event log tells me that some people have recently joined the media space using the machines Comet, Hamlet, and Approve It, whereas William has just left. I'm intrigued by Francois's office. To discover more, I can enlarge the slot using the fisheye control of the porthole, switch to another office, enlarge the view, or return to the normal rendering mode. Having presented the general picture of comedy, let's see how we address visual discontinuity. Our first technique to alleviate visual discontinuity is the use of a multi-resolution fovea. This technique is inspired by the architecture of the human retina. The image presented to the user is a composition of a high-resolution fovea and a low-resolution periphery. The fovea is provided by a high-resolution steerable camera, while the periphery is given by a low-resolution fixed camera. Using the mouse, the user can place visual attention on a region of interest without loss of context. The fovea can be zoomed to provide the required level of detail. As shown here, the fovea may be circular or rectangular. The composition of a fovea and a periphery avoids the visual discontinuity that results from a split screen, such as in the system Extra Eyes of Buxton. In a user study, six users were asked to find random targets. All of them preferred the circular fovea. However, in all cases, a rectangular fovea was more efficient than either a circular fovea or extra eyes. Visual discontinuity may also be alleviated by face tracking. Let us see it in action in a V-phone. Eric has selected Joelle's slot and calls the V-phone function. Now that Joelle is online, Eric stands up to show her something on the wall. The camera follows him as he moves. The next sequence shows how the tracker works. The robustness of the face tracker is based on a new approach that uses a supervisor to coordinate multiple tracking techniques. Here we use eye blink detection, correlation, and skin color detection. This next sequence shows skin color detection in action. The left image shows live video of Eric. The green rectangle expresses the location of Eric's head. In the right image, screen denotes the pixels that have a high probability to be skin. The implementation shown here runs at more than 20 images per second on a Silicon Graphics Indie. The robustness and speed of the tracking system support fluent interaction. As in many systems, privacy is supported using an accessibility matrix for specifying access rights. Publication and filtering of private data offer complementary and original ways to provide privacy. Strong protection is provided by hiding using the publication mechanism. For example, Eric removes Joel and Frederick from the list of people to whom he publishes his private data. On Joel's porthole, Eric's slot turns to the private mode. His level of availability 
and video scene are no longer observable. Instead of hiding, users can choose a less radical protection such as setting filters on their video scene. Here, Eric has set up the activity filter based on a difference of images. The filter passes motion and thus supports both privacy and group awareness. Using the Via Voice voice recognition system, he now selects the Venetian blinds, then removes the filters. He can also use an innovative new filter called an eigenspace filter. The top left image shows live video of Francois. The top right image shows the filtered image received by remote users. A filter is defined by an orthogonal basis space of images, computed by principal components analysis on a set of socially correct images provided by the user. As shown here, events not included in the socially correct image set are removed by the projection. Users want to know who has glanced at me. Experience with the 9x porthole indicates the necessity for users to ask the system who has glanced at them. As shown here, Comedy provides this function in a simple way. Provision for reconfiguration of resources is our final contribution to media space technology. Firstly, interaction techniques can be configured depending on computing resources. For example, at the beginning of a session, I can select or eliminate the speech recognition system as well as the computer vision tracker. Because a media space runs permanently, and because the screen is a critical resource, Comedy provides ways to manage screen space. Users can build their own porthole, keeping the most important people in the mosaic while saving computing resources and screen real estate. For example, here I have five people in my mosaic. I can reduce the bandwidth and the computing load by removing Stefan. In summary, Comedy is a media space prototype that integrates computer vision and speech recognition. Comedy demonstrates solutions for the problems of visual discontinuity, using a multi-resolution fovea and a face tracker, privacy, using filters such as the eigenspace filter, and user-selected resource configuration. <laughs>